Hi, my name is Lauren and today I'm going to go over the cover designer inside the Ed Online Designer. So I'm here on my Manage Ladder page and you'll see I have a preview of my cover right here. If you're designing your cover in an outside program, please note that the recommended cover dimensions for your book are located on the right here next to the image of the cover. To access the cover designer, you can hit the Design Cover button right here or you can go to Design, Design Cover on the top toolbar. You'll see now that the designer is open that there are several guidelines similar to that of the pages in your yearbook. We have the purple margin line or safety zone, the black cut line, and the red bleed line. The difference is the front of the cover is located here on the right side of the document and the back of the cover is located here on the left. We have these blue lines in the center to represent the spine of the book as well as the hinge. The hinge would be the space here on the front and back of the cover where the book is bound or sometimes also referred to as the crease. If you plan to put text on your spine, make sure that the text rests within the blue guidelines. Otherwise, you will run the risk of having your text spill over onto the front or back of the book. Now you can choose to design your cover from scratch and we also have the dimensions located here on the bottom if you would like to use an outside program, but we do offer pre-designed cover templates and backgrounds in the designer. To access them, you can go to templates and scroll down to covers. You'll see here we have covers that include text boxes and drop photo boxes that you can use or if you go to Backgrounds, you can scroll down to Pre-designed Covers. This will give you just images that you can add your own text boxes and photos to. So for my example today, I'm going to go into Backgrounds and pick one of these covers to use. I'm going to click and click to insert. And now you'll see that my cover is loaded and I'm going to spend a few moments editing it. Okay, so now I have some text on my cover and I'm going to go ahead and add some spine text. So to do that, I normally zoom in so you have a better idea of what you're looking at. And then I'm going to go to the text button here on the left and I'm going to insert a text box. I'm going to type in the text box. And then I'm going to just rotate the text until it is 90 degrees. It's best to line the text box up using the middle blue lines for the spine. Just make sure you don't make the text so big that it bleeds past those middle blue guidelines. Okay, now that I'm happy with my cover, I'm gonna go ahead and save. And let's go back to our Manage Ladder page and the Preview Cover button. And now you'll see my cover is here. And to preview my cover, I'm just going to hit this preview slash approve cover button located here on the right. In preview slash approve cover, you'll see there's a 3D preview of your book that you can use to look at the front and back of your book as well as the spine. And if you scroll down, you'll see a front cover preview and a back cover preview. So the gray bar here represents the hinge or where I mentioned earlier that crease will be in the book. And you could also see a full example of your cover here and a close-up of your spine. So please use these previews to help you adjust the location of your text and spine text. And once you are certain that you like your cover, you can come down here to the bottom and approve your cover for production. And approving your cover will lock it so please keep that in mind before you approve your cover. 
but we do not require you to approve your cover earlier than your book unless you have a special cover upgrade, like a foil stamp or an emboss. If you have any questions or concerns when designing your cover, don't hesitate to reach out to us here at 888-926-6571, extension 2 for tech support. Check out for more help videos and thanks for watching.